In this session, we'll look at how to use a storyboard to create a fly-through animation of a proposed InfraWorks design. As you can see, I have InfraWorks open. On my screen is a model that represents some proposed roadway improvements and a park site. Let's say that I'd like to create an animation of this design that I can take to a public meeting to help gain support for this project. I'd like to start my animation back here at the soccer field. So to get there, I'm going to open the bookmark menu, and then I'll select my soccer field bookmark to jump to that location. To create the animation, I'm going to build out a storyboard. I'll do that by opening the presentation menu, and then I'll choose Storyboard Creator. Now at first, you may think that creating animations would be difficult. Actually, it's not. This editor contains several pre-made animated cameras. If I open this menu, we can see several of them here. I'm going to start by creating an orbit animation. When I select that, you can see that a new item has been added to the storyboard. We can also see that item is selected based on the red boundary. When an item is selected, we can see its properties over here to the right, as well as a play button that will play that item. I'm going to click play, and we'll take a look. And we can see this is doing exactly what it says. It is orbiting to the left 45 degrees. Now I'd like to orbit a little bit further. Let me change that to 180 degrees, and I'll click play. You can see we are now rotating much farther. We can also see that the rotation is quite fast. If I drag the slider over, we can see the duration of this movement is approximately 3 seconds. If I'd like to make this longer, I can click the up arrow. Each time I click, it will add a second to the duration. Notice that each time I click, we can see a change over here in the storyboard editor as well. Knowing that, if I click and hold on the edge of this item, I can adjust its duration manually. Also notice that the editor contains a playhead. This shows us exactly where we are in the overall storyboard. If I click and hold on this, I can drag it back and forth and scrub through the animation. Let me drag this back to the beginning, and then we'll click the play button again, and we can see that 180 degree orbit now takes approximately 7 seconds to complete. This represents the extent of my animation so far. To continue, I will simply add another animated camera. Let's open the menu, and I'll choose Add Crane Animation this time. We now have a new item in the storyboard. Let's come over and click Play and take a look. Same as before, it's doing just what it says. It's craning up about 108 feet. I'd like to crane down instead. Let me change that, and we'll click Play again. And we can see the difference. At this point, we can see that creating an overall animation is simply chaining multiple camera movements together. Let's say that I'd like to do a fly-through animation from this point. To do that, we'll open the Animated Path menu, and I'll choose Add Camera Path Animation. This gives me another item in the storyboard. Right here we can see that InfraWorks is saving the current camera location. I can now manipulate my position in the model. Let me drag this over, kind of like we're flying over the playground. And then I'll come down and click this Add button. This saves a new camera location. Let's drag this over some more. I'll click Add. Let's go a little bit further. Maybe we'll rotate this and start heading up the hill. I'll add one more, and then we will wrap up with a view of the roundabout, and I'll click Add. If I drag the slider over, we can see that item 3 contains 5 keyframes. I'm going to click Play so we can see how that looks. As you can see, InfraWorks has threaded a camera path through each of those keyframe locations. In doing so, it has created a smooth fly-through animation that progresses from one end of the proposed design to the other. To adjust the duration of this item, I'm going to open the keyframe menu here, and I'll choose keyframe 1. I will then drag down, and you can see we have several camera speed controls right here. I'm going to choose Set Speed. This represents the speed of the entire path, and I'll knock this down to maybe 30 miles an hour. And I'll press Enter, and you can see how that change is reflected in the Storyboard Editor. Now at this point, I'd like to view my overall animation. Let me drag this slider back to the left. I will then double-click to move the playhead to my current location, and I'll drag this to the beginning. If we look at the top of the dialog box, we can see the total length of the animation is 29 seconds. I can then use these play controls to the right to play the animation in its entirety. To get a better look at things, I'm going to drag the storyboard editor off the screen, and then I'll click this play button. Now that we're viewing this at full screen, we can easily see the entire soccer field and our 180 degree orbit over 7 seconds. When that wraps up, we immediately crane down approximately 108 feet. We then start moving forward at 30 miles an hour, making a nice smooth transition through each of those five keyframes. This gives us a clear view of the entire project. Note that after reviewing the animation, we could always go back and make additional tweaks to the properties or add additional items to get the exact visualization we're looking for. 
Let's drag the storyboard editor back up. At this point, let's say I'd like to save my animation. I can do that by coming over and clicking the export button. Using the export dialog box, I can select my desired video encoder. I can select my folder and file name. I can choose my desired frame rate. I can assign a custom resolution if I want to. I can even export a portion of the overall storyboard to create my finished animation. Clicking record would then save the file to my hard drive. Let's close this. The best part about storyboards is that they are independent of the model. That means I can create an animation from this proposal called Final Visualization. And then I could turn around and load another proposal. Let's choose the existing conditions in this case. And then I could create another animation that follows the exact same path. Once I've created both videos, I could then open them in an application such as Camtasia or Adobe Premiere and edit them together to create an animation that seamlessly transitions from the existing to proposed conditions, much like we're seeing on screen. This technique could also be used to transition between multiple phases of a proposed design. So the next time you need to produce visualizations from an InfraWorks model, consider putting together a storyboard. With a couple mouse clicks and a few minutes time, you can easily create compelling animated visualizations. Would you like to explore other Autodesk infrastructure ideas and workflows? If so, please visit the Civil Immersion blog by scanning the QR code or by following the URL listed below.